Well, it's that time of the year again where a shockingly bad Cabela's game comes out. This time, I think there's only one. The last year, there were two games that came out on the same day. This is Cabela's African Adventures, and I'm pretty sure this is the game that has a bit more of a storyline to it, because they've been going around with different aspects of the game. So it was a storyline-based game last year, as well as just one where you have to hunt and just... You're pretty much your stock standard Cabela's game, but this one seems to have a bit of a story to it, although it is infuriatingly bad and rather funnily so. So let's hop right into the African Safari, shall we? Start off the new story. I've played around a little bit, I must say. The game is quite bad. It's very, very linear and it's incredibly scripted uh, for a hunting game. I do love like the open world games, but unfortunately that is not here. It's pretty much go to place A, kill thing B and head back to place C. That's pretty much it. And it loads for incredibly large amounts of time. So I'll probably have to edit this bit out, but I try to blabber on as much as I can. I'm rather good at that. Here we go. Got some zebras. Making some really weird sounds. And that was obviously us. Just another day. Follow the blood trail. So they're definitely going with like a comic book um, type of like how they give us missions and all that. I kind of like it with the way they set it everything out, but let's just use the obligatory tutorial mission to learn how we play the game. Even though I know how to do it roughly. We can sprint as well. It's a little bit different from the last game that I played last year. If you want to go ahead and check that out, I'll probably include a link down below. Okay, so this is the blood trail. Whoa! Shit, shit. Shoot from the hip to take fast but less accurate shots. Oh, no, you're not. There's a couple of them here, though. Shooting an animal in the vitals activates adrenaline. During adrenaline, time is slowed down. Adrenaline can be extended by making consecutive vital shots. Oh, there's a lot of them. The game's already lagging. Compared to Grand Theft Auto V, though, there really is no comparison. There you go. They're just going to spam us with the, all these leopards. All right, we shot him, I see. There's definitely, no, there's, okay, that's it. Surprisingly. And they magically disappeared. All right, let's go running. Not sure if this is connect correct running style, but we'll do it. So there doesn't seem to be any countries this time around. Oh, here we go. There's more of them here. Oh, they're hyenas, they're hyenas. You know what's wrong with Africa? Nothing. It's perfect. Because everything is what it says it is. Nature is predictable. It don't change. And I like that. Mr. Mason, you're here because you've hunted everything from grizzlies to Afghan Orioles. You're here because there isn't a hunting slam you haven't conquered. I'm here for the money. <laughs> well then, uh, I assume you take cash. Why do you want these animals so bad? I don't. They're just in the way. In the way of what? You don't strike me as a spiritual man, Mr. Mason. But the locals here, they prize talismans, artifacts, objects that bring good fortune. The local tribe have lost a statue of their ancient king. There was a disagreement with another tribe over cattle. And they stole it, broke it into pieces, and hid them in the lairs of some of this region's most vicious beasts. Now, I care deeply about the well-being and comfort of the local people, so I want it returned to them. You want to pay me all that because they think a statue will make it rain? I'll give you a bucket of water for ten bucks. Hope is more valuable than money here. I'll take the money. After 
you bring me some pieces of the statue. Installments as you go. Give me the list. All right, so clearly Cabela is a rugged man in the middle of Africa. All right, let's drive over to the base camp, which is clearly right over here. <laughs> the car's exactly pretty much the same as the last game. There's no damage. It's incredibly basic. So you've gained an ability point. Press back to spend it. All right, there are two types of abilities, active and passive. Active abilities must be triggered and have cooldowns. Passive abilities are always in effect. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Don't spam us with text. We want to go ahead and kill shit. So, this is your ability tree. I know. God damn it. All right. So, at the moment, we can only get rapid fire. Now that it's unlocked, let's equip it uh, and close the ability screen. Okay. Seems to have reset us. New enhancement unlocked. I didn't manage to read that, but reach the possible location of the hunt. All right. So, there's a map. Actually, I don't think it's we've unlocked it yet. You need to unlock the map. Which will get it very shortly. All right, so you've discovered a hunt. To start the hunt, exit the car and step into the circle. And then the mission pretty much starts off is how it works. And over here in Africa, we drive on the correct side of the road, clearly. The driver's seat is on the right side. It is the right side, literally speaking as well. So, find the herd. It shouldn't be too hard. It should be right in front of our station. I'll just run to where the game tells us to go. After all, I said it is very linear. Uh, so we're going to shoot all these animals down. Uh, the rat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So when an animal comes too close to us, like a dangerous one like this, uh, we need to. Uh, either run or we can jump to the side like what I'm doing right now like that there we go and when the sound happens is when you should be clicking let's use some rapid fire would help if we didn't have to load because that wasn't all that rapid all right and there's more of them they're coming packs now though Oh, <laughs> thankfully we've got a lot of health as well. There doesn't seem to be any difficulty settings though. Let's get this guy. Oh. That definitely was rapid fire right there. That's it. Mr. Mason, I feel I should make something clear. The beasts on my list are unique. <laughs> Delicate little flowers, huh? Quite the opposite. Each of these animals are famous here for a reason. They're killers. Alphas of the highest order. These beasts are larger, stronger, smarter than the rest. Maybe even smarter than you. You'd be wise to warm up a little. As a matter of fact, I was already planning to. Point me towards some wildebeest and some buffalo, too. I'm gonna sharpen my skills before I tackle one of your big guys. Very wise. Check your GPS. I'll upload their locations there. Alright, so now we've unlocked the map. We can have a closer look at that. You can quickly travel to your car by selecting the vehicle icon. Oh wow, so it automatically takes us there. I did not know that. There you go, the more you know. So there's two hunts that we've got. We've got the Black Wildebeest and something down here, which is the Cape Buffalo. Alright, and that is the it for the map. And then they spawn us over somewhere else. But let's go over here. Try to follow a road. Hopefully, this one will lead us to the correct place. I'm pretty sure. I need to go around here. Nope. I already think I went the wrong way. Which is completely like me, though. Um, let's just go around here. Alright, there's a lookout point back over there. Gotta watch out. Alright, there's gotta be a way that we can get over here, though. Doesn't seem like there is. So I seem to have done goofed already in the first couple of minutes. There we go. There's another vista. No? Okay, we can go around these mountains. There we go. 
simple enough. What's that? Another mission. What the hell do you think it is, mate? I'm guessing Cabela's a bit of a redneck. That's a little gesture of goodwill. I've taken the liberty of leaving a gift for you. Very nice. So we can choose your loadout based on the hunt type. Uh, we're pretty much going to be carrying all the same weapons pretty much all the time. A new firearm has been unlocked. Uh, press A to customize. We've only got that one rifle unlocked, it seems like. Um, and we don't have any backup. Oh, we can... Oh, there we go. Yeah, so that was a backup. Ammo. Aren't they exactly the same? They are exactly the same. Okay. We can only have that. And health packs. We do want two health packs. Let's go next. Current loadout exceeds capacity. Ah, oh, okay. So these little weight scales up above, it says eight out of seven. So we need to get rid of this. There we go. That's six out of seven. Whatever. We'll keep it like this. Um, and we can choose our special abilities. I don't think I'm able to unlock any more though. Actually, there we go. See, oh, I didn't get this either. There we go. So that's a passive ability. What is that? See vitals. Vitals are fully visible for any animals in your crosshairs. That's pretty good. All right, so that's a passive, offensive, it seems like, ability. Okay. So let's go ahead and start the hunt. Start hunts with this loadout. Yes, I'm pretty happy with it. Alrighty, so the common theme in this uh, game is pretty much what you'll see in this video. Um, ah, damn. You know what I didn't get? There's this special ability which helps you out so much. Uh, it allows you to run in tall grass. I mean, run in stealth mode, sorry. So the animals literally cannot see us at all when we're in the tall grass, believe it or not. And it says best to crouch. See, and now we failed. We spooked the animals, so we failed that. So let's go start this again. If only I chose the option where we can um, run around in this like stealth mode. You can run it a little bit quicker because this is painfully slow. What you got to do is just, it's almost like a platformer game. You've got to hop from one uh, tall grass area to the next. And uh, once you, we hit like a certain tall grass area, the animals will move. So I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there we go. This guy's starting to move back now, and this guy's moving as well. We need to wait until he comes back. There we go. Sometimes they do turn around, so this is a bit sketchy. You have to like learn the way they walk. No, he's staying still. It's easy enough. Uh, now, where are these guys? There's one over here, so that means I'm going to have to go on this side. I think. No, no, no. I know where I've got to go. I'm thinking about going around here, but this guy's going to see me. Wow. Okay. <laughs> well, that's a bit lucky. I would have assumed you would have seen me. The dumb zebra, because in the typical Cabela's games, scent is an incredibly important thing. Oh, shoot. Whoa, that was close. And then we would have had to done it all over again, which ain't fun at all. What's this guy going to do? He's just tracking back and forwards, isn't he? He's going to turn around. Yep. Look how close we are to him and he does nothing. All right, there we go. We shot him down. Right where it hurts. Success. Very nice. This is an all-frequency broadcast. 
To anyone in or around the stone steps, please retreat to higher ground. There has been a sighting of an alpha buffalo and a very large herd. This particular herd is easily provoked, so please, I say again, head to higher ground or leave the area. Sounds like that's where the action is, lady. And us not being one to be scared of action, we're going straight to it, of course. So, wait, wrong button. We press this and, okay. Let's drive over here. So we need to chuck a sharp right, it seems like. That's all, where is it? It's down here, okay. But let's just drive off the cliff. Cause that is, oh, what? They respawn our vehicle. That's progress of a kind. That's quite advanced for a game like this. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. I like how our car just jumps forward once we accelerate. Alright, so let's try to find a good crossing. Here we go. Here's a crossing of the river. Let's just drive through these open plains and hope for the best. Covering the distance quite quickly. Grand Theft Auto 5, this is not. It's definitely a pretty piss poor rendition of the Cabela's games. And then again, Cabela's really turned to shit lately. I've got no idea why. I guess because they're just probably trying to make so much money. They released two games last year. Bastards. Oh, no, and on the same day. I could only find this game. Maybe there was another game coming out this week or so. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's continue on. Um, yes, next. And all right. Um, here we go. That's what I want. Uh, stealth sprint that helps us out so much okay I'm starting to understand this much better now uh, but we need a thousand more points so wait, let's just go next next yes so once we finish this that's when we should be much better off because stealth is such an important part of the game Alright, so we're going to take down both the buffalo. There's one here. Okay, I see where they both are. up. Let's rapid fire this bastard. There we go. That was pretty close. And now they're coming up from behind us. This gets really ridiculous. Holy shite. Alright. Oh, come on. I was completely out of the way and then the game left. Ah, oh, come on. Beautiful. Uh, now there's going to be like multiple of these buffalo coming right at us. Whoa, that was way too close. <laughs> that would have definitely hurt. Oh, that guy's dead. Oh, the game lags up right away when I try to jump out of the way. That, that was my fault, though. I admit that. Uh, where are we? Finally. He is down and out for the count. In before more buffalo come in from nowhere. No. Nope. work. You really are rather good. All right, it's time for you to head to the stone steps. So the animal they called out on the radio. That's the one, huh? More than likely. I suggest you bring plenty of ammunition. The buffalo there are <laughs> far from friendly. Ah, uh, and the stone steps are right there. So I don't really have to drive all that much. Just get in our vehicle though and just park it right next to the stone steps. I wonder if the stones if it's actually coming up on the map. No. I think you have to go ahead and uh, go to one of these visibility points, lookout points. I, put, I already know where it is, so that's all good. What's there we that? go. Get out. Thanks, mate. And up we go. Now, I should be able to unlock that other ability, the stealth sprint, which will help me out a great deal. All right. Um... This, sorry. 
All right, selective. Okay, I think I can only re get, use one special ability or something. I don't get it. Are you okay? That's the empty one. But I'm um, see. I tried doing this in my own spare time as well. It just completely confuddled me. Because I have the empty on right now, right? It's on empty. And then I select Stealth Sprint. Um, or unless it's a passive ability. There we go. It's a passive ability. There we go. That makes sense now. And then that's passive as well. All right. Okay. And then we can only have one passive ability. All right. Well, that makes sense then. So I figured that one, that one out. I'm proud of myself. We need to come in and then back out. There we go. X hunts. Yes, I'm happy with that loadout. Hey, there's one bad mofo. We're just chilling. They're charging the lines. Right. Incredible. If you ain't scared of them, I got a feeling you won't be scared of me either. Better keep this real quiet. Now, right, so now that we have the stealth sprint, it will help us out. Although, you don't. Re oh shit! See, you got to time it perfectly. It's like a platformer, like I said. You got to go from one bit to the next bit in time. Here we go. Almost noticed us. And then there's that one little straggler behind. All right. Wait up for this group to come by. Now we get over to the next green strip. Now, confront the buffalo leader while the herd is away. Where exactly is he? I see you, oh, there he is. Come on. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, so this is a boss battle, believe it or not. We have boss battles in a game like this. All right, that's the big daddy. We got the big daddy. Whoa. Thankfully, we've got lots of health packs as well. He's going to have his mates coming. Oh, God. He's going to have his mates coming around at us anytime now. So I also got to watch out for that. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> it's so hard to time it right. Oh, come on. It's bloody tag team me, us. <laughs> well, hopefully this is just entertaining uh, me wa getting, watching me getting owns. God, coming from all directions, you can barely do it. Uh, we got two more health packs. Uh, we damaged the big guy. Enough. This scene really reminds me of the Lion King. Oh shit, they were like outrunning us pretty quickly. <laughs> Holy cow! Actually, those are buffalo. Alright, mate. Did you got nothing better to do? Ah. So what we're going to try to do this time is just dodge the animals. There's a couple of them coming though. There we go. It is it's so surprisingly like a platformer. Hey, 
And supposedly the herd is still chasing us. Well, it's incredibly hard to see where they are. There's somewhere there on the minimap. You would have thought they would have chased us down already. Oh, come on. i got to watch out because I don't have any... Um... Shit. Shit. We're dead. Damn it. But we're going to have to start this whole thing over again. All right, all right. But I think the good thing is they give us two more health packs every single time we die. Holy cow! Actually, those are buffalo. Ain't you got nothing better to do? What the hell? Yeah, I've got to make sure they don't chase us down again. The whole herd. That's what really hurt me. Oh boy, indeed. You're gonna have some stamina uh, left to do all these maneuverings as well. So if you just sprint the whole time, then you won't be able to run out of the way. Which is no good, you don't want that, of course. There we go. We made it a little bit closer. Although they're coming up close. The whole herd of them. They're right behind us. You can see them on the mini map. Oh god, there's more of them out front. Take down the buffalo. <laughs> That's a little worse. It is. That's a little bit idiotic, really. All right, we've got to take the big guy. Ooh, that would have hurt. Oh, come on. I literally dove out of the way. Oh, come on. Oh, this game. Here we go. We're doing really well, actually. Alright, uh, they're going. Oh, no. They're not going. Stop chasing me. Goof. That was close. That was easy. And now the herd runs away. And we'll level up. How good is that? One piece down. Solid gold. You want to tell me what you're doing here? Cleaning up after you. What are you talking about? I'm an aid worker. Ah, uh, and you do a lot of aid up in trees? I was waiting for you to finish that animal. These are tough times. The locals used to get support from a charity, but the payment stopped. And now there's no funding for food or tools or, or trading, nothing. You're out here taking down animals, the way I see it. They shouldn't go to waste. The people can use them. I was gonna take them, but do what you want. Saves me the effort. I'm just here for my money. That's a very male thing to say. That's a very female thing to say. Good luck with that. <laughs> gonna love his creepy face walking back. All right, it's like ability points earned. That lady was the epitome of third world problems, quite literally. Charities not getting their money and all that other baloney. I just did not read what it said, but I think we're going to head back to the base camp. So let's just head north. It seems where I've got to go. Hopefully that's a river crossing. It is. I'm assuming if you try to cross the river like on a deeper part, the car will just reset. So it's not going to be massive problems. Go to the next region. Uh, well, we'll go ahead and start the next episode. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the first episode of our Cabela's African Adventure. Until next time, make sure you do like the video if you have liked it. And uh, we'll be continuing on with this riveting Let's Play very shortly.